tutorial this is Sonu Sharma and today we are going to make a glow shader using universal render pipeline of unity so let's get started so let's make a game object sphere or cylinder you can take whatever you want create a material for this glow mat Then what we have to do is we have to well, let's assign this material to our sphere first. Let's see the material is assigned. Let's change the color to white. I like white, so let's change it white. Then you have to go and create shader and PBR graph. So now we have to rename it. Uh, let's name it at shader glow glow and double click on it will show a window this is where you have to edit your shader in the main mode you can see object and real time changes on this object I'll hide it I don't want that the first thing we want to add is the color of our sphere. So let's create a node, type color, and there you go. We can add color. And let's turn the output to emission. Add color like red. Save this asset. It's it yeah and why it is not showing here on our object because we haven't applied that shader that we have created onto that object so let's go on shader graph and select shader glow so there we go now to make it more easy we want this color to be changed from the inspector panel so what we can do is we can go into the glow shader right click on it and let's make it a property convert it to properties now our color is a property and which is visible in our inspector let's see now save this asset you see this now here you can change the color whatever you want now it is orangish. Maximize this video. window and now what we can do is we want to add the glowing effect to our object. So go on creating node and like press null effect. And this will this effect this node is gonna provide us with the glow shade. So now it has one in one output and multiple inputs so and here on emission pbr master we have only one input so what we can do is we can right click and create a multiply node multiply delete it, this one from here add the output to a1 and the output of this to a, one minute just a moment what happened you yeah, have added to b delete it just take it up a bit up add the output here my system is a bit slow so bear me for that and the out of this to the input of B like multiply and you can this is cool effect here we can reduce the power also if you want to increase it reduce it you can do it from here I'll keep it like 2.5 so it's giving me a cool effect now Add the output to the input of PBR master emission. There we go. Save this asset. Let's see the changes right away. You can see the changes right now in this game view. Now this is the static glow effect. What uh, is mainly used in some 2D games or 3D games. 
I want it to fade in and fade out so let's do that for that we need to add time so maximize it come on man my PC is damn slow man Create a node. Let's add time node. There we go. And the uh, input of this sign to remap. Remap. Now you can see this cool timing effect here. now we'll have to provide this output to the emission so let's create a node let's create a multiply node multiply there we go now it takes two input so we'll have to take the input of this one into this let's do it let's drag this one a bit right i want to see them okay there we go let's delete this one why this is output to this one come on yeah output to A1 and the output of remap to B now see you can see that this is happening bit let's save the asset minimize it now you can see this cool effect here Let me maximize it. You see this one. Now let me change one more thing here. I want to change the power from here itself. For length power, right? Let's do it. Let's add vector one from here. Uh, rain power. And make the mode to slider. Minimum zero and maximum one is okay for me. I have no issues. And drag this one here. As it is a property, we will be able to change this value from the inspector itself and add this output to the power. And now, see this is And now you can see that we'll be able to change the rain power from here itself. And you can see this glowing effect. Look at that.
So this is our shader graph that we have done. Let's maximize it and go on play mode. So you can see how seamless this is happening. Now you can give this cool effect to any of your game object, any of the model that you like to have this type of glow. So this is how you can create a simple glow effect using shader graph and new Unity's universal render pipeline. You can do it with low lightweight render pipeline also. So if you like my video, please subscribe it, comment down below if you want something else to be made from me. Thank you for watching guys and be safe. I'll see you in the next video.